Hey guys, in my last video, I showed you some of the really cool new features that are available in the latest version of Adobe After Effects, which is After Effects CC 2014. If you haven't seen the video yet, click on this link, check out the video, I highly recommend it. When After Effects got upgraded, Premiere Pro also received a big new release with Premiere Pro CC 2014. And in this video, I wanna take you through some of the cool new features that are now available in Premiere Pro. One of these features, Live Text Templates, which is an integration between After Effects and Premiere, I already covered in my After Effects CC 2014 video. But there's other cool new stuff like Master Clip Effects, Effect Mask and Tracking directly in Premiere Pro. So what I want to do now is I want to jump into Premiere and show you how to use some of these cool new features. One of the great new features of Premiere Pro CC 2014 is Live Text Templates and I have already covered how to use Live Text Templates in my After Effects CC 2014 video, so do go check that out if you want to know how to use them. Premiere Pro CC 2014 introduces Master Clip Effects. This allows you to apply effects to the footage in your project window rather than to an individual clip that sits in your sequence. This means that every single clip that you use anywhere in your sequence that uses the underlying footage will have those same effects applied. This comes in really handy when you have many edits like in this sequence for our Candy Crush Nightmare video. Let's say I wanted to fix the color of this side on shot of water on the couch. I can select the clip in my sequence, go to the effects and for example apply a fast color corrector effect. Then I can go on and make changes to tweak the look of this clip. But uh oh, a little bit later in the sequence I have the same shot again, but the fast color corrector is only applied to the first clip. So now I have to go back and copy and paste any effects from one clip onto the next to make them all look consistent. The worst thing about this is that once you've done this tedious job, imagine you want to make a change. You'd have to go through every single effect on this clip and make the same change over and over again. This is a major pain in the ass and unfortunately not something that you can actually solve with adjustment layers either. Fortunately, in Premiere Pro CC 2014, what you can do is locate the source video file for all of these little clips in your timeline, double click on it and apply effects onto this project instance of the footage. Any effects that you apply to this project instance will ripple through to all of the individual clips that you place in your timeline. So now all of the side and shots for Walter have the same fast color corrector effect applied to it. Note that when you select the clip in the sequence, you can't actually see the effects that are applied to the project instance of this footage. But if you want to make a change, simply go back to the project window, open up the effects for the project instance of the footage and make your changes. And bam, the changes will automatically be applied to all of the clips that use this footage. Premiere Pro CC 2014 has also taken a lesson from Adobe After Effects and introduced effect masks. These masks allow you to define the area of your footage where certain effects are applied to. Let's assume we wanted to blur out my face in this shot to hide the identity of the shooter. If you apply a blur effect to the layer and increase the blurriness, the entire clip will be affected. But under the settings for any effect in Premiere Pro, you now have a sphere and a square mask that you can add to your clip. Let's add this simple circular mask over my face. As you can see, it restricts the area of the blur effect to only my face. Just like in Adobe After Effects, you can tweak the mask settings and you can also invert the mask to apply the effect to anything that is not contained within the area of the mask. Finally, and this is a really cool feature, you can track this mask very, very easily in Premiere Pro. In the mask properties, you have these playback controls and if you click on the track forward button, Premiere Pro CC 2014 will automatically track the contents of the mask. In this instance here, it's tracking the movement of my head and the mask will automatically follow along. Now, this may take a little while, but in this case, Premiere Pro has managed to keep the blur effect nicely attached to the shooter and we have successfully hidden his identity. Now, this video doesn't cover all of the new features of Premiere Pro. There's enhanced playback, there's new output formats, there's typekit integration. If you want to know all of the details, I am going to put a link to the Premiere Pro product page down in the description of the video, so do go check that out. Also, I know this video was just a quick overview of all of the new features, 
If you're interested in any one feature in particular and would like to see a separate video just explaining how to use that feature, do leave a comment below and I will get around to it. So as always, please leave any comments, questions or suggestions down in the section below. Please remember to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button up there, hit that like button and share the video around. It really helps out a lot. And as always, you can also find and follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, I will see you later.